Hello everybody, I'm your protector of Protect X. Sorry for the bad mic quality, my computer's just been acting up. I am playing or voicing over some Battlefield 2 gameplay by me. Um, I'm playing United States and MEC, as I, I can't pronounce MEC, I'm sorry. So yeah, we're going to be playing some of that. Uh, I'll be sh just talking about some random subjects. I know it has been forever, holy crap. Since I've posted an actual gaming video, it's been like up and down type vlog things. Um, the reason for that is my keyboard for my uh, computer randomly wanted to stop working, so we just had to mess with that, and uh, yeah, it, it's been crazy. So, hopefully, the quality for this video isn't too bad. I know the microphone quality is going to be complete crap. I've already did some tests, and I know it's going to be complete crap. So yeah, um, and my, and another reason I haven't been posting is my internet's been all wacky, so, yeah. So now we are here, and we're going to, you're just going to be watching, I'm going to be doing just random topics throughout this entire thing, so don't, like, think that this is going to be some sort of, like, goofy type, I'm just going to be talking about random stuff because, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry about that. I remember I using push talk for this so I could do that at the time to stop my microphone. But anyways, yeah, I, I was just playing Battlefield. I felt like recording, and I'm like, uh, since my internet's out, might as well record some Battlefield until it comes back up, and then hopefully post this later. So, yeah, you guys are getting a little bit of a longer video. I hope you guys appreciate that. Um, I'm so sorry for the non-upload stuff. I'm trying my hardest, you know, but with the crappy computer, like, I mean, this isn't like the normal YouTube type crappy computer, this is the crappiest of crappy computers, and it sucks. So, yeah, um, was that? I have water next to me, so I have to drink it, I'm gonna mute my microphone whenever I drink it. I know. Alright, so, we're going to be sitting here, we're going to be doing our own jazz and whatnot. So, obviously in the beginning of this game, I joined a squad being a, being Bravo, and I don't remember what class I was. I think I was Assault, yes, I was Assault, and anyways, we're moving through, now we're going into the APC as an Engineer. Now, the reason why I went into an APC as an Engineer is now we need to get that uh, third cap our second third cap rush because once we get that second cap it's going and I destroyed that vehicle so it respawns so the bots would bring it in again but anyways you want to get that second third cap rush because basically after you capture the second point the enemies are just going to start pouring and it's going to get tougher and tougher by the minute to capture that last point so what you got to do is you got to take this APC as you can see I'm not moving next to the flag because they're focused on the flag and so I'm going to move in at with my APC uh, they did remove the online for this, so I'm going to be playing against bots if I'm ever going to be playing anything. I think these bots are on, uh, veteran, not expert, so you'll see me pull off some pretty crazy stuff later in the video. But, yeah. So, I got this point. I told my buddy to get in because I'm going to need as many people as possible going into this. And, so, I'm going to need as many people as, going, as possible going into this. I try to shoot my thingy at my rocket at the car, but it fails my heat seeking rocket at the car but it fails because he was a little too low and my depression was a little lower so it didn't work then I'm overheating luckily I got the car and the grenades can't do much to my armor so I just start picking these guys off and I know how high my heat is so I'm taking single shots and not firing constantly as we come down here I'm going to run into a tank I believe and then there's more guys and more guys and I think I eventually tell them to bail out because we do run into some pretty heavy... F no, it wasn't. It was an anti-tank. That's right. We didn't run into a tank. It's an anti-tank. It's the anti-tank starts messing us up. Once the anti-tank messes up, the grenades do the damage, and I have to go. And since I'm an engineer, I'm going to go behind my APC and try to repair it. And as I'm trying to repair it, I think I get team killed. No, we get killed by an AK-101. So as I'm trying to repair this, um, as we're repairing this, you know... I'm getting shot at, and eventually they come up from behind, and I get killed by an AK-101 medic, so. As, I, as I'm as i trying to spawn at that second point, I was thinking about sniper, then medic, and I'm like, eh, maybe medic's not such a good idea, so I go engineer again, thinking 
I need to get that LAV back. If I don't get that LAV back, the enemy's going to take it over. I know I repaired it. I know it's good and operable, so I have to take it back. Now, I was trying to take some long shot pistol shots here, and they weren't working at all, so I just decided to run forward and hopefully try to get better shots. All of a sudden, I see they take the LAV, so I spot out the LAV, and they got a tank behind that. So I'm running, and I realize I'm an engineer, so I start trying to spam anti-tank mines. Now, the thing with these anti-tank mines is you cannot do anything. They have Their wheels have to drive over it, or else they will not be in effect, and they need a few t seconds to arm. Now, when I was spamming them down, the APC drove over it, and as I, you can see, it didn't explode on them because they didn't have time to arm, so I kind of failed at that point. Switching kits here, I go to the anti-tank because they have our LAV. They have their tanks. They have an LAV, they have a tank, and they have their own APC, so at this point I need to destroy our APC so they don't have the vehicle advantage. They'll be able to push us back with that vehicle advantage all the way back to our first point if they were players, but they're bots, and I'm treating these guys as if they were players, so now I gotta recapture this point by myself as an anti-tank. I'm looking at that bag. I was considering going for the medic bag. I see a guy, I shoot him, and I realize he has the automatic shotgun, which is actually a lot better in fire rate and damage at close range. So I go and I pick up his gun, the S1K1, I think. And I see the tank, so I had to immediately switch back to anti-tank. I'm going to hope that engineer bag is still there as I'm destroying this tank. And I destroy the tank, no scope, 420. And, <laughs> yeah, I, I said that. Anyways, these guys, I was going to get in there and shotgun him in the face, but he's like, nope, no, 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 no. And so, as you can see how effective that thing is as they get closer, and with all the bullet spread, it does high damage. I took a lot of damage from that. Right now, I'm trying to avoid damage. We have a full, like, squadron of bots moving down here. I feel like the only person going to be able to kill these guys because look at how many shots they're missing. And I get team killed by a grenade. Don't know how it happened. I got team killed. Luckily, we have, like, two medics next to us so I can get healed again. And then I realize how useful a medic would be in this situation. Because, as you can see, we're getting shot up and the medics are doing their thing. And I see the medic died up there. So I'm going to run over and I'm probably going to grab his bag. If I remember correctly of what I did, I'm going to grab his bag. We're going to go. There's a vehicle there. He gets blown up by the anti-tank people, class, whatever. The anti-tank rockets, we're going to call them. And so I pick up that medic bag because I know we're going to need it. Engineer's really not useful. We're not going into the vehicle. We're going in with the units. We need to kill them with the units. So we're going to need it. I realize this thing's on one shot and... Oh, I would have killed him if I didn't get that one shot. So then I had to switch it to uh, Burst Fire. Because Burst Fire is definitely more effective, in my opinion, against these guys. Whoo, I'm talking a lot. I need a drink. So now, we're going through. There's a guy shooting. I see a guy on the ground. I'm going. I'm clear. I'm spamming the click button because I need to heal that guy. I heal him, but for some reason it doesn't show the animation. It's a little glitch. I don't know. They're not working on this game anymore, so I can't count. There's a tank behind there. I realize there's a tank behind there. I run back to speed up the capture, and we capture the point. Now there's two guys left. Those two guys are in that tank. I'm looking for an anti-tank bag, and we win. We just won as the USMC. Um, that is not the most effective way to win. I know more effective ways to win, but that was definitely not one of them. The most effective way is to grab that car, go up into the back, and then start pushing forward. But, uh, obviously, I didn't do that. We're obviously going to the next round. We're going to be playing SMMEC this round. As I see, I'm, I'm like, okay, we need to switch to MEC. Come on, let, let's go. Switch to the MEC. Let's Now, MEC on Strike at Carcan, there is a very, very, very easy way to win as bo against bots on this map. You spawn at a hotel, you're an engineer. All right. Now, at that second tree road, right at the crossroad, there's going to be a little choke point where all the vehicles like to come through. You spam anti-tank mines here. If you spam the anti-tank mines, all their tanks, all their LAVs, even their vehicles are going to drive through here and blow up. Now, what I like even more is they left an MG gun here to kill off the straggling units coming forward. Now, I'm making hand movements as I'm talking. I don't know why I am. But if I had a face cam right now, you'd see that. As I could see, the anti-tank missile come through. And as you're going to see how good this choke point is, watch these two vehicles come through. Boom, the APC blows up. 
we're moving through as I see a vehicle so I'm just spamming bullets at that vehicle the anti-tank missile blows it up now you can see that tank round fly by here comes the tank now the only thing that sucks with this ability is you have to pick up more engineer kits the more engineer kits you're able to pick up the better another anti-tank mine takes it out you're moving and so you got another anti-tank mine and now you see our friendlies go through the mines don't blow them up I think they might though I'm not gonna be positive on that I don't think any friendlies blew up but those anti who let's take a breather here I'm talking way too fast calm we have like 30 minutes Anyways, as I was saying, you have to, it is crucial to be getting more engineer kits because you're going to need those AT mines and the bots for some reason don't like giving you ammo. They just don't unless you're an anti-tank. Otherwise, they don't give you ammo at all. So right now, I think at this point I'm moving forward. I've seen an engineer. I'm trying to chase that engineer. And then I realize it's a special forces. So I end up having to kill him anyways because he's going to kill that tank. Yep, and then there's a medic there. I shoot my pistol and I spam, and I realize I had a shotgun. I could have more effectively killed those two. Don't ask me how none of those shots hit. They didn't. I don't know how. But yeah, there's an LAV coming up. I need to find an engineer. There's more. There's a support guy. He's shooting at me. I'm going for the knife, and I fail the knife battle. Uh, and then I get revived instantly, and then I shoot him in the face. And then he gets shot in the face. I didn't shoot him in the face. Anyways, I didn't realize I picked up a new engineer kit because I glitched the uh, bag thing again. So I'm going over there and I'm like, okay, I'm running back. For some reason, I'm running with my wrench. I was going to go repair that tank, but he blew up. Too, it was too late. There's another tank inbound. What I do here is I, I like to call this method, method the suicide AT bombing. As you throw AT mines in front of you and hopefully the tank drives over it. And if the tank drives over, as you can see in the top left hand corner, the AT mine actually killed him. So I had to die, and luckily there's a medic nearby, so I was able to keep spamming my uh, AT mines. A little glitch with this map, or just this game in general, one second. A little glitch with this map. Not map. Why do I keep saying map? God, Andrew, why, why, why do you do it, man? Why? Oh, uh, you gotta get in the groove again. You gotta get back into recording. Okay. A little glitch in this game is if you pick up another person's engineer set and they have AT mines your AT mines will stay for about a five minute period so if let's say you have I think about I want to believe it's five six AT mines in the beginning you go you place all your AT mines and you go pick up someone else's engineer kit you get another six AT mines you're gonna have 12 AT mines but your beginning six are gonna stay there for five minutes before they despawn now this can be very effective be at doing this as you're going to see it will be effective because the bots will be doing something later in the match that completely throws me off guard because the bots never did this and I don't know if it's because they're on a higher difficulty or not but that's what I that's what happened they just did something surprising to me as you can see I'm firing off some random shots and then I see another tank inbound you're going to believe more and more as this playthrough gets through how effective this method is because it keeps blowing up the tanks and the bots just keep going and the bots are just stupid yeah the bots are just stupid so yeah they're just stupid I, I really don't know how to say it any longer I'm killing PK Johnson I'm killing this guy I don't know why I'm lighting this oh yeah I don't know if it's visible on this resolution, but there was a guy that ran right up next to the A Marini trying to get ammo, health, whatever he was doing, but he was right up next to it, probably getting the bonuses. Probably getting the bonuses for doing the thing he needed to do, so I'm like, okay, and I thought I thought I could like de repair the thing by going with my uh my going with my, you know, my wrench and unrepairing it and then oh I see an engineer kit, I need to pick up that engineer kit because of the AT mines, but I need to clear these enemies out faster, and since I know how fast this thing's fire rate is, I'm suppressing, and I'm at two health. Two health, and I'm running out of there. And I realize how messed up the situation is, but I need to get these AT mines down. I need to get them down. It's it's a now. And I have to say thank you to the bots, because then the bots will heal you more. It's an actual thing, I swear. 
But anyways, the, if you say thank you to the bots, they'll heal you. They'll give you stuff more. Anyways, there's a there's a guy right there. I had to get those down those AT mines because I knew that tank was coming. And I'm running back to that machine gun and trying to pick off the foot soldiers. And all of a sudden, the tanks and the LAVs and everything in this game takes a turn down to that road. I'm sitting there. I'm like, is the bots glitched? Did they glitch their path? Did they realize the AT mines were there? I don't know what they were doing. This guy looked like he was trying to turn and got stuck, so I'm sitting there throwing grenades at him and uh, I accidentally lob one for some reason. I lob it and so I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm like, what do I do? How do I distract this tank so they don't kill my friendlies? I jump on the car, I'm distracting the tank. The tank is too busy aiming at me. I jump on the car, I'm trying to get on top of this tank and I get on top of the tank. There's no gunner on the top so I can sit up here. And I basically suicide myself to distract this tank because the tank is so focused on trying to shoot me. He's trying to look up the barrel. It just doesn't work. He can't look up at me. And so our T90 can kill him and I will end up taking the death for this. Now I'm going to say right now this is a perfect run. We didn't lose one point the entire game. This was an iron defense. I've played this map so much. I've learned all the tricks to this map of how to get the perfect defense. And this was just one of them. So as you can see, there's all those AT mines are sitting there for about five minutes before they despawn. And so I'm placing all of these AT mines. And now you can see how many more AT mines I actually have gotten there than when you could have gotten personally just with your own four. I've gotten so much more there and it's able to defend so much better because how the AT mines work is, I said it earlier in the video, they have to drive over it. So that's what I'm thinking. Now, if you guys are wondering why I'm being so descriptive and boring, Usually with these post commentaries, I'm either talking about certain subjects or I'm talking about what's going on in my head as I'm playing the game. Because I just got done playing this game, I'm going to know, refresh, I'm going to be perfectly refreshed on what I was thinking. And this is how my mind works. It talks really fast. It goes really fast. It renders everything really fast. And so there's another LAV coming. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm shooting at it. And the LAV turns. And I'm sitting there. And the LAV died, I, I think. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking and I'm wondering to myself, why do they keep turning down that road? The bots usually don't do this. I'm wondering why they're turning down this road. And so what I'm doing is I'm sitting here and I'm questioning why they're turning down the road. I have to shoot at these guys. I'm running away. I'm trying to get behind cover so they can't shoot me. I go prone and then I get shot in the back with a shotgun. I would have survived that. I had a full clip, I would have killed them all, but that shotgun from behind. Now, I'm obviously shouting medic at this point, and then I respawn, the medic didn't make it to me in time because the bots are stupid and they don't like healing. So, as we're moving through, we're going up, and I respawn, and I didn't realize, I completely forgot at this moment that I had my AT mines. And then I realize that tank's coming, I'm trying to shoot off the driver, and I hit the driver once, and I, get, and I run to a tree. And I realize, this tank and it turns again the tank turns I realize my team mines are despawning so I'm trying to you know and the moment I throw one down I realize my team mines were despawning and so I try to place them down and I died because he ran into the uh, AT mine sorry about that oh geez it's getting crazy anyways so the LEV turns and again, and nothing is going through my uh, my thing. Now I'm wondering here, I'm wondering why isn't this working? What's going on? Why aren't they doing this? So I go into Clever Ruse and I place about two AT mines right where the wheels of a truck would about to be. Not the wheels of an ATV, but roughly around where a truck would be. Because I know the AT doesn't drive in a perfect straight line. I start shooting at the ATV. I'm distracting the, it's APC by the way, not ATV. I know I've been saying that. So I'm starting to distract this APC so our special forces guy can plant the C4 and blow it up. He misses. Somehow he runs up next to it and he misses the C4. Bots are stupid. I'm still trying to distract this guy while the bot is putting more C4 down. And, he, and he's like, alright. And he, then he dies. The APC shoots him. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta shoot this APC or else he's gonna go cap the points. So I get that special forces. I die. I get revived immediately after I die. I get up again. 
And I realize I picked up the engineer kit. I need to run back. I need to get that special forces kit for the C4. And I'm moving through, and I'm like, whew, and I'm placing them, trying to stick one on him. I don't know why it's not sticking, so I just run away. I plant three roughly where he is, and then I shoot, and the C4 kills him. Kills him dead, and now I need to run back and get that engineer kit, or else all my AT mines will instantly despawn. So... I need to go back, and now that I have my, more AT mines, for some reason, it, like, refilled all my AT mines. Another glitch, when you get respawned, it's going to refill you with full ammo and stuff when you get revived. I don't know why it does that. But anyways, I'm shooting at these guys now. There's an engineer coming my way. As you can see, how many AT mines I got placed down. I'm moving through. I'm shooting at the bad guys. I'm like, yeah, we're going to do this. This The engineer is how you can uh, really defend. It's just place on AT mine. They're going to get their wrenches. They're going to be trying to dismantle the AT mines. They're not going to be shooting the shotguns at you. You're going to have a huge advantage. They're not going to have any way to attack at you. Whew. I'm talking fast. Dang. Oh, really fast talking. I really hope this recording works because I didn't want to record my voice last time I did this. Uh, more APCs. The enemy is at 30 tickets this Second game definitely lasts longer because there's no way to actually kill them off and instantly end their tickets. You just gotta slowly drain it. At this point, I'm just waiting for the tickets to end because there's no way they're getting through. They didn't even hardly, they didn't, they hardly made it past that tree. <laughs> awkward tree is awkward. This, that was the anti, I made that tree the anti-tank tree. Nothing was getting through that tree. So I realize there's a tank there, and I'm sitting there, and I realize my anti-tank mine eventually are going down, so I have to let that AP, APC took down most of my anti-tank mines. So there, I'm throwing more of them, and I'm throwing them down, and I'm going, and I'm going, and I don't know how these enemies aren't hitting me. The car decides to drive forward. I get shot by an M203, and I was about to be revived, and the car drove over my AT mines and killed my, dead, my wounded body. Don't ask me how this worked, it just worked that way. And so, I'm getting some close quarters, the enemy's at 15 tickets. I'm just finishing it off, I see the bots fix their route, so I'm just putting it here again. And so I'm just placing, don't ask me how these bots, they're on veteran, they're not on expert, they're on veteran, and they still just missed me. I, I think I get some extreme luck sometimes in these FPS's. See you later. This is my first game. I was just doing really good. Anyways, you know, the tanks are coming through. They're dying, and each die, it's going to drain their ticket. Each death is going to drain their tickets more. As you can see, we just killed their APC, and we killed their tank with that one thing. I'm sitting here. They're at seven tickets. You want to see your body do a little lob at the end. You're going to run next to this red car, and you're going to um, you're gonna see my body lob. I'm going to get my mouse out, and I'm just going to show you where my body lobs. They're at two tickets, three three tickets, two tickets. They're about to go down. One of them just died. They're at one ticket. I stand next to this car, and I lob it. And as you can see right there, my body lobbed. And so we won 151 to 0. These are some post-end game stats. I'm going to say all the stats because sometimes my quality sucks and you can't read it. So I'm just going to say the stats. Of what I got awarded in in this match, I got top of the list, top of the ranks, you know, woo. 77 minus one apparently because I didn't I, I Apparently I team killed for all those AT mines, so it gave me a minus one 39 kills and four deaths Now I got the first gold star because apparently my combat I had zero teamwork throughout the entire thing I got 78 combat zero commander most played kick Engineer and most played vehicle ground defense ground defense meaning you didn't LMGs and stuff Apparently those count. I had the uh, best UMC squad, apparently. No, I didn't get the... Bleh. That was wrong. That was wrong in so many ways. Just wrong. I thought that said alpha. Yeah, best UMC squads. Obviously all that jazz. I'm gonna move through. I circle that for with my mouse for some reason. Alright, so now we're going to the top scores of the game. I got the top scores in best combat with 78. With engineer, I got a score of 69. Hey, hey. I got a top score of 69. Great, Andrew. You, you, you're horrible at this. Just go die. Go die, Andrew. You, you don't do this. Anyways, and then I got 69 for... <laughs> Oh, 
Whew. All right, we're going to try this again. 69 for the engineer. And for spec ops, I got eight. Ground defense, 28 points. Woo. But then, anyways, that's all I got. I've been your protector, Alpha Protect X. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads. I'm really trying to work this out. Anyways, I've been your protector, Alpha Protect X. You have been you. Thank you all for watching. Bye.